Hi, my name is Zach, this is Harrison. Today we're talking about what to look for in the face when performing a general clinical examination. Now, this is meant as an adjunct to our videos on examining the abdomen and the chest. We're looking for peripheral signs of diseases in other systems. If you're after a neurological exam, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. We'll assume for today that you've already washed your hands and consented the patient. We'll start with the eyes. Pull down gently on the lid and take a look at the conjunctiva. If they appear paler than usual, your patient might just be anemic. At the same time, observe for a yellowing of the sclera. This is one of the earliest manifestations of jaundice. Now, look around the eyes for yellowy fat deposits known as xanthelasma, which are characteristic of hyperlipidemia. Next, ask the patient to stick out their tongue and take a look at the mouth. A bluish tinge to the lips and tongue is known as central cyanosis. This is a worrying sign of severe hypoxia. Note any inflammation of the tongue or of the angle of the lips, both of which are common in hematinic deficiency anemias. Look inside the mouth for any ulcers and for the characteristic high palate of Marfan's disease. Once you finish looking at the face, you can move on to the rest of the exam. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, uh, why not subscribe to our channel? You can do it by uh, clicking that button there. You can see some of the other videos in our series on clinical examination, uh, just below me, just down there. And uh, why not send us some helpful feedback? Till next time.